Thraco-Illyrian is a hypothesis that the Thraco-Dacian and Illyrian languages comprise a distinct branch of Indo-European. Thraco-Illyrian is also used as a term merely implying a Thracian-Illyrian interference, mixture or sprachbund, or as a shorthand way of saying that it is not determined whether a subject is to be considered as pertaining to Thracian or Illyrian. Downgraded to a geolinguistic concept, these languages are referred to as Paleo-Balkan. The linguistical hypothesis was especially current in the early 20th century, but after the 1960s it was seriously called into question. New publications argued that no strong evidence for Thraco-Illyrian exists, and that the two language areas show more differences than correspondences Vladimir Georgiev, Ivan Duridanov, Eric Hamp, et al. <laughs> Topic. Linguistic contact or common branch? The Vardar, South Morava and Great Morava rivers are generally considered to approximate the border between the Illyrian and Thracian spheres, in the west and east respectively. However, Thracian and Illyrian did not have a clear-cut frontier. There was also, clearly, significant interaction between the Illyrian and Thracian spheres, with some Thracian groups occupying the Illyrian sphere and vice versa. The identity of some groups as Illyrian or Thracian has also remained unclear, or, in some instances, a Thraco-Illyrian mix. Such factors reinforce the impression that many similarities between the Illyrian and Thracian lexes resulted from language contact. Other scholars argue that there were major similarities between Illyrian and Thracian, and so a shared, ancestral linguistic branch is probable, rather than a sprachbund. Among the Thraco Illyrian correspondences noted by I. I. Rusu are the following. Not many Thraco Illyrian correspondences are definite, and a number may be incorrect, even from the list above. Soren Paliga however states, "...according to the available data, we may surmise that Thracian and Illyrian were mutually understandable, e.g. like Czech and Slovak, in one extreme, or like Spanish and Portuguese, at the other." Other linguists however argue that Illyrian and Thracian were different Indo-European branches which later converged through contact. It is also of significance that Illyrian languages still have not been classified whether they were Centum or Satim language, while it is undisputed that Thracian was a Satim language by the Classical period the Satim nature of Proto-Thracian is disputed, Ultianu 2002. Due to the fragmentary attestation of both Illyrian and Thraco-Dacian, the existence of a Thraco-Illyrian branch remains controversial. Evidence of a Thraco-Illyrian branch has also been sought in the Albanian language, which might have developed from either a Thraco-Dacian or Illyrian language, or possibly even a Thraco-Illyrian creole. See also Albanian language Balkan Sprachbund Classification of Thracian Dacian language Paleo-Balkan languages Romanian words of possible Dacian origin and comparison with Albanian words Thracian language Venetic language Topic Notes Carat the place of Paeonian remains unclear not much has been determined in the study of Paeonian and some linguists do not recognize a Paeonian area separate from Illyrian or Thracian the place of ancient Macedonian is also undetermined. Poliga states, "...it is therefore difficult to say whether the ancient Macedonians spoke an idiom closer to Thracian, Illyrian, Greek or a specific idiom." References Bibliography <references> 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 Georgiev, Vladimir. Poliga, Soren. Pre-Slavic Place Names, 2002. Wilkes, John. The Illyrians. Blackwell Publishing, 1992. Rusu, Ion I. 1969. Limba Traco Dassler in Romanian. Bucharest, Editora Stintifica.